All right, Shalom, another video. Before I move forward, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. A double Shalom taught the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity, regardless of whom here or forbears. Right, the videos that we do are only for the hopeful elect, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and confusion of faces. And with all the uh, prophesying that, you know, the brothers have been doing to start with the apostles, the elders, the great millstone on down. Okay, calamities are coming forth. Martial law, race riots, famine, World War III is coming forth. Okay, more evil times, more pestilences, which means diseases. All right. With all those things coming forth, you got to trust in the one that can save you. You got to trust in the Lord. Okay? So we're going to prove in the scriptures that, the, uh, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai uh, can save you if you're part of the elect, of course. All right? And that's who we put our trust in, not man. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. St. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. It says, and she, who is she? Mary. Okay? Who was... The mother of Lord Yahweh Shai, who our people ignorantly call Jesus. Okay, St. Matthew 1 and 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai. Okay, and Yahweh Shai is a true Hebrew name of our, uh, um, our big brother, uh, who our people ignorantly call Jesus. Okay, his name is Yahweh Shai. All right, and Yahweh Shai means he delivers, he saves. All right, let's see who he's coming to save. Okay, it says, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people. No, save everybody. He shall save his people. Who, who is the Lord's people? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, in which Lord Yahweh Shai is only coming to save the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, so that's who we're supposed to put our trust in. It says, for he shall save his people from their sins okay now what are sins let me see first john chapter 3 verse 4 it says whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law for sin is the transgression of the law so sin is going against the statute laws and commandments in which the nation of israel were the only ones who received the statute laws and commandments so therefore the nation of Israel are the only ones who can actually sin. That's why the scripture is referring to as his people, meaning the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, those are the ones who are committing sinful acts. We all, we, we all, the nation of Israel, need a savior from, from our sins, for going off. What are some of the sins? Uh, sleeping with the next man's woman. Okay, uh, eating abominable foods like shrimp, crab, lobster, pork, catfish, liver, oysters, you know? scallops you know those are abominable foods okay uh worshiping dumb idols all right before we came into the truth before we uh the lord uh, brought us into the truth we were uh you know worshiping uh some of us pagan idols okay so we need uh saving from our sins okay and then we bring out another uh precept and i'm gonna jump back Salakia. All right. It reads Romans chapter 3, verse 23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So the, the elect who are going to be saved on this side, okay, the first fruits in the kingdom, are the ones uh, are who, who, who are going to be receive the benefit from being saved from their sins. Okay, two thirds are going to perish and die. Okay, so going back to St. Matthew, matter of fact, let me read Romans 3 and 23 one more time. For all have sinned. So we've all have we've all sinned. Okay, we can't keep the law 100%. So we le we need our Lord and Savior, Lord Yahweh Shai, to, to, to beam us up, Lord willing, we're part of the elect. And to be saved out of the calamities that is coming forth to uh, four corners of the earth and mainly here in America. Okay, so Romans 3 and 23. For all have sinned and come short. Of the glory of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? So going back to St. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins. Okay, so Lord Yahweh Shai is going to save 
you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the elect, okay, on uh, who are going to be the first fruits in the kingdom from their sins. And the remaining two-thirds who are going to perish and die on this side will come through um, in the loins of the elect in the kingdom, okay? Uh, another precept I want to bring out is Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. But Israel, again, Israel is a people before it's a place, shall be saved in the saved in the Lord. Okay, that's Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, with an everlasting salvation. Okay, and that's the everlasting kingdom. Okay, it says, Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. So that's the point. The nation of Israel is going to be saved through um, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, and that's who we're supposed to put our trust in. We're supposed to put our trust in the one that can, that can save us, man. Our true and living power. Yahweh, that's the heavenly father, okay, through Yahweh Shai, the only begotten son. All right, the scriptures tell us not to trust in man. Man can't save you uh, and, and, and uh, protect you, okay? The heavenly father, the only begotten son, is doing that, man. Are we going to prove that? Um, say, uh, it's like it. Psalm chapter 118, verse 8. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to put trust in the Lord because the Lord is what is going to is who's going to save the, uh, you from your calamities if you're part of the elect. So why would you want to put your trust in man? Man can't do anything. Man have no power. All right. The scriptures say man goings of the Lord. How then does a man understand his own way? Look, men, men don't even uh, understand their own way, man. The Lord is controlling all things. The scriptures say the Lord killeth and maketh alive. And we're going to bring that out. All right, because that's why it's important for us to trust in the Lord. You know, the Lord is the one killing and making alive. The Lord can keep you alive in, in amongst these calamities, okay, and, and, and save you. First Samuel 2 and 6, the Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. So the Lord is the one doing all the killing, and the Lord is also the one who is, is, is keeping the ones that he wants to keep alive to, uh, to remain alive. Right? Why would you want to trust a man when he ain't doing shit? Excuse my language. You know, not the so-called white man, not these uh, pagan idols. You know, Buddha, Allah, Hala Selassie, Santa Maria. You know, none of these dumb idols can save you or protect you. All right? Let alone man. It says, verse 9, it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. None of these so-called leaders, all right, or these leaders in this world can save you. Not Donald Trump. He's not going to make America great again. He's not going to protect you and bring back um, more job opportunities and cure your cure your uh, disease that you have. OK, none of these these so-called leaders are going to protect you, man, or, or, or um, provide for you. OK, only the Heavenly Father is going to can do that. And the only begotten son can do that. So like it. How about Shimmy? I was shy. All right. That's why we it's important for us to. You know, fear the Lord first and foremost because fear is the beginning of knowledge and wisdom. And when you have the knowledge and wisdom, you understand who's truly protecting you, man. You know? All right, I'm going to bring out another precept. It says, um, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 39, it says, See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no power with me. That's Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. It says, I kill and make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. See, that's why we have to put trust in the Lord. All right, because the Lord can uh, put you to death and give you a judgment. All right, uh, any type of judgment. He can, he can remove your, your one of your limbs from a disease. All right, he can give you um, a, an incurable disease. He can give you cancer, gout, diabetes, high blood pressure. All right, you can get hit by a car and, and remain alive and be a vegetable who's getting pushed around in a wheelchair for the rest of your life. There's no power that can save um, you out of uh, the calamities or judgment that the Lord brings forth. Okay? Again, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no power with me. So the Lord ain't sitting on, at a throne with, with, with Buddha on his right, you know, uh, giving him secret counsel, man, of, of judgment. You know? No other pa false... Idols, no false idols are given, is, is sitting with Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It says, I kill and make alive. See, the Lord kills. The Lord is going to make alive if he wants you to remain alive. That's who 
he's going to remain alive and beam up in those chariots, man, the elect. <clears throat> All right. It says, I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. All right. So the Lord, the Lord is doing all the wounding. The Lord is doing all the healing. Okay. So it will behoove, you know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans to trust in the Lord. You know, trust in the Lord, the one that can save you, the one that can keep you alive. Okay. And also fear the same one that can put you to death or wound you. You know, it reads Psalm 115 and 11. Ye that fear the Lord. Okay. Because fear is the beginning of knowledge and wisdom pursuing the Proverbs 1 and 7. All right. The Lord wants us to fear him first, man. So you can gain the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of who's the one to, that we supposed to be putting our trust in. It says trust in the Lord. All right. Trust in the Lord like King David did. Trust in the Lord like King Solomon did. Trust in the Lord like Moses did. Trust in the Lord like Joshua did. Okay. It says he is their help and their shield. So the Lord is our help and our shield. The one who's going to protect us. When these calamities come forth. All right. Because we. Hey look. Jacob's trouble is 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 closely approaching. If, if not um, knocking at the doors man. Okay. World War Three is heating up. You know. There's so many uh, tensions going on, man. Race riots getting ready to brew up. It's already the stage is already set for these things to happen, man. Okay, so we want, we need, not just want, we need the ones that seeking your by Shemir Shai protection. We need to be shielded, and we need to trust in the right entities. Your how by Shemir Shai. That's why the title of the video is called "Trust in the One That Can Save You." Trust in the Lord. Okay. So with that being said, before I close out, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. A double shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity, regardless of whom here or forbears. Shalom.